Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on bilinear transformation part 2. In the part 1 video, we learn what is mean by bilinear transformation and how to find the bilinear transformation from the given points. We see the formula W is equal to A Z plus B divided by C Z plus D where A, B, C, D are complex constant with A, D minus B, C is not equal to 0. And then we learn that if AD minus BC is equal to 0, then every point in Z plane becomes a critical point. Then we started writing bilinear transformation formula and we did a simple example. I was explaining about the problem which contains two infinities, one in Z, the other one in W. So we get the answer W is equal to 1 by Z and I said how to verify that my answer is correct by substituting each point of Z in this final equation then we get the corresponding W value. Then your answer is correct. Now we are going to see some more problems. Find the bilinear transformation minus 1, 1 maps to 0, 1, infinity. This is going to be a good problem because I have 1 infinity in the W plane. So I can easily get the answer like W is equal to some A Z plus B divided by C Z plus D. Let us write the steps as usual. Take the given data as step 1, record your Z1, Z2, Z3 and W1, W2, W3. Now write the bilinear transformation formula and we see that W3 is infinity. So omitting W3 terms, we can easily get a simplified formula because W3 is infinity. I am omitting this two terms. Next, my job is to substitute W1, W2 values, similarly Z1, Z2, Z3 values. Substituting the values in the formula, we get W is equal to Z minus I. I can take this minus outside. So I get 1 plus 1 that is 2. In the denominator we get Z minus 1. I'll take this minus outside 1 plus I. Now I can cancel I I. We get 2 times Z minus I in the numerator and Z minus 1 into 1 plus I in the denominator. We have already achieved the form A Z plus B in the numerator C 2 Z minus 2 I. So A is 2, B is minus 2 I. But I want to achieve the same for the denominator also. I want to find C Z plus D. So now I have to multiply the denominator separately. Z minus 1 into 1 plus i. When I multiply, I get Z plus i Z minus 1 minus i. I want to express this in the form C Z plus D where C and D are complex constants. So I will take Z outside, we get 1 plus i. I'll take minus outside, we get 1 plus i. So I can write this as 1 plus i into Z minus 1 plus i. So denominator is also done. So it is of the form A Z plus B divided by C Z plus D. Now you can verify by yourself by substituting the values of Z in W. So problem gets over. Next, sometime in the problem along with bilinear transformation, they tell you to find invariant point or a fixed point. Let us see what is mean by a fixed point. If the image of a point Z maps itself, then the point is called as a fixed point or a invariant point of the transformation. W is equal to A Z plus B divided by C Z plus D. Here I am going to replace W by Z. So we will get a quadratic equation by simplifying this equation. We get C Z square plus D Z minus A Z minus B equal to 0. Solving this quadratic equation, we get the fixed points or the invariant point for a given transformation. Let us do one more problem. Find the bilinear transformation that maps into 0, 1, infinity into minus 5, minus 1. In this problem, we have 1 infinity but still it is in Z plane, not in the W plane. If it is in W plane, then finding the solution is very easy. So let us go. Record the data Z1, Z2, Z3, W1, W2, W3 and then write the bilinear transformation formula. And then as usual write since Z3 is equal to infinity, eliminating or omitting the Z3 term, we get the new data. 
Now substitute W1, W2, W3, Z1, Z2 in the problem. We get the expression. Here I can write this as simply Z, W plus 5 minus 4 in the denominator, W minus 3, 4. Now I can cancel this 4 and I will take the denominator to the other side and I will also take the minus. So minus Z into W minus 3. Guy listen, very important, there is a trick. If you have W plus 5 in the numerator and W minus 5 in the denominator, then you have to use component to dividend rule because it differs only by a minus sign. But here we can see numerator as W plus 5 and denominator as W minus 3. In this case, just do the cross multiplication and make the simplification such that you can push W terms on one side, remaining Z terms on the other side. Now simplifying this, W plus 5 is equal to minus ZW minus into minus plus 3Z. So W plus ZW is equal to 3Z minus 5. Now taking W in common, we get 1 plus Z is equal to 3Z minus 5. Therefore, my final solution is W is equal to 3Z minus 5 divided by Z plus 1. So, it is a good problem. What we learn? If they differ only by minus, then I can use component to dividend to rule. Otherwise, just do the cross multiplication and simplification. Now, it is time to verify whether my final answer is correct or incorrect. Now, substitute the Z values one by one in the final answer. So, my Z1 is 0. So, when I substitute Z1, I am going to get the point W1. Let us say W1. When I substitute Z1, that is actually Z value. When you substitute here, we get 0 minus 5 divided by 0 plus 1. So, it is going to be minus 5. It is correct. Next, my Z2 is equal to 1. Now, when I substitute the Z value as 1 here, 3 into 1 minus 5 divided by 1 plus 1. So, minus 2 divided by 2 is going to be minus 1. So, this is also correct. Finally, Z3 value is infinity. So, we are going to get W3. Now, it is a little trouble because Z3 is infinity. I can do this in two ways. I will take this Z outside from the final answer. I will get 3 minus 5 by Z. In the denominator, if I take Z outside, 1 plus 1 by Z. Now, I can cancel this Z. When I apply infinity to Z, 1 by Z is going to be 1 by infinity, that is 0. Therefore, W3 is equal to 3 minus 0 divided by 1 plus 0, and then we get 3. This is also correct. There is one more way to find W3. Suppose, if you are applying infinity directly in the problem, we get infinity by infinity. Do you remember, student, this is indeterminate form. When the problem is indeterminate form, what we have to do? We have to use L hospital's rule. You studied in your school. L hospital rule is very simple. When the form is indeterminate, differentiate numerator separately and denominate separately with respect to the variable. Here the variable is Z. So now I have to differentiate the numerator with respect to Z. So 3Z minus 5 differentiation is 3. Similarly, differentiating the denominator with respect to Z, Z plus 1 differentiation is simply 1. So we get 3. So either you can use the elimination of Z or you can use L hospital rule. Both the cases, it is satisfying. So when I substitute all the three points of Z like Z1, Z2, Z3, I can get the corresponding points W1, W2, W3. Now this concludes W is equal to 3Z minus 5 divided by Z plus 1 is the correct solution for the given points. This verification is only for our satisfaction to make 100% confidence that our answer is correct. This is my final answer. Next, as I said in the beginning of the video, sometime they will ask invariant points. How to find invariant point? In the final answer, substitute W is equal to Z. Now we can see Z is equal to 
3 z minus 5 divided by z plus 1. Simplifying this, z into z plus 1 is equal to 3 z minus 5. Then z square plus z is equal to 3 z minus 5. So z square minus 2 z when this 3 z come to the other side plus 5 equal to 0. Now using your school formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, I can get the answer 2 plus r minus 4i by 2. That is simply 1 plus r minus 2i. Therefore, the invariant points for the given problem is z equal to 1 plus r minus 2i. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.